Hey, what's happening guys? Winston here and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the ASRock X870E Tai Chi light mud board. The ASRock X870E Tai Chi light is not a cut down version of the original X870E Tai Chi, but a more affordable version. It uses the same X870E chipset and supports all the latest Ryzen 7000, 8000 and 9000 series of processors on the AM5 socket. It uses the same 24 plus 2 plus 1 power phases as the original X870E Tai Chi and includes 110 amps SPS for V-Core and 20k black capacitors for superb reliability and stability. It comes with XXL VRM heat sinks but no cooling fan or heat pipe. But it does include the same enlarged M.2 and chipset heat sink for maximum heat dissipation. For expansion slots, you get two PCI 5 x 16 slots and four DDR5 DIMM slots supporting both the XMP and AMD Expo memory modules with speeds of up to DDR5 8200+. For storage, you get six SATA ports and one blazing M.2 PCI Gen 5 M.2 slot as well as three PCI Gen 4 M.2 slots. It also features the toolless M.2 heatsink design for easy installation of your SSDs. Other enthusiast features include the power on and reset buttons as well as the diagnostic LEDs and you also get two USB 4 ports and a 5 gigabit LAN. We'll be testing this motherboard using a Ryzen 9 9950X along with 48GB of DDR5-8000 memory. We'll also be using a GeForce RTX 4080 Super to see how the whole system performs. So let's put this into a test rig but before we do that let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the ASRock X870E Tai Chi light motherboard. Uh, supports the Wi-Fi 7, DDR5 RAM, as well as PCIe 5. And of course, all the Ryzen 7000, 8000, and the latest 9000 series of processors from AMD. All right, let's take a look inside the box. Okay, inside here, we have uh, three of the thermal probes. We have uh, a pair of SATA cables. We have the uh, Wi-Fi 7 antennae. The three pin ARGB splitter. And the ASRock keycap. Let's see what else is inside. We have the quick installation guide and regulatory notices here. Here we have the motherboard. This is the ASRock X870E Tai Chi Lite. It's a EATX form factor, so it's slightly larger than your standard ATX motherboard. Here we have the AM5 socket supporting all of the latest Ryzen 7000, 8000, and 9000 series of processors. We have some nice large silver heat sinks here, and also along here, and the chipset heat sink, as well as the M.2 heat sinks here. All right, let's take a look at the back of the motherboard. Just the uh, back plate there for your uh, AM5 socket. All right, we'll start at the top here. We have uh, two of the eight pin PCI power connectors here. Then we have one, two, three fan headers, a diagnostic LED, power on and reset buttons here. We've got two three pin ARGB, a 24 pin ATX power connector, USB 3, USB type E. We have six other ports for your SSDs. And then along the bottom, we have the pinouts for your power on reset buttons here, Cleesey MOS, USB 3, and then we have one, two, three, four fan headers for cooling. And then two USB headers here. We have three headers for your temperature sensors, then a three pin and a four pin ARGB, and then your audio connector here. Right, for expansion slots, we have two of the PCI 5 times 16 slots. And for SSDs, we have one PCI Gen 5, and then one, two, three of the PCI Gen 4 M.2 slots. And this feature, the uh, toolless heatsink design, which is quite nice, you just unlatch this, it comes off, and then you just line it up and you get that click and you're done. Here we have four of the DDR5 DIMM slots, supporting memory speeds of up to DDR5-8200+. All right, let's take a look at the I.O. We'll start off on this side. We have the Clear CMOS 
and fast flashback. We have the Wi-Fi 7 antennas, HDMI, and then we have uh, one, two, three, four, the USB 3.2s, and uh, two of them are the Lightning gaming ports, and the other ones are the Ultra USB power. Then we have two USB 2s. They have one, two, three of the USB 3.2 Gen 1, um, one of the USB 3.2 Gen 2. And then we have two USB 4 ports, and this is the 5 gigabit LAN, and then we have audio connectors for line out, mic in, and SPDIF. All right. This is a very nice motherboard and features all the enthusiast features as found on the original X870E Tai Chi. The only thing that's missing, of course, is some of the uh, RGB LEDs and maybe some larger heat sinks. Uh, there's no heat pipe. Apart from that, this board is virtually identical. Uh, we'll be testing this motherboard using a Ryzen 9 9950X along with uh, 48 gigabytes of DDR5 8000 as well as a GeForce RTX 4080 Super to see how this whole motherboard will perform. All right, so this was a quick unboxing of the ASRock X870E Tai Chi Light motherboard. When ASRock released the light editions of their Tai Chi motherboard series, I initially thought it was a cut down version of the Tai Chi and I questioned whether it was a good idea. But I was totally wrong. In fact, as far as I'm aware, the main difference between the light and the fully fledged Tai Chi models is that the light versions seem to have few heat sinks and no RGB lighting on the IO hood. Other than that, the two models are virtually identical. Simply put, the ASRock X870E Tai Chi Lite is a more affordable version of the original X870E Tai Chi. You get the same enthusiast features and the same performance, all for an attractive and affordable price. Doing our tests, we managed to get very similar results to the original X870E Tai Chi in all of our benchmarks. For Cinebench 2024, we got excellent scores of 2,300 points for multi-core and 139 points for single core. For PC Mark 10, we got an amazing score of 10,977 and a score of 18,129 for Pass Mark 11. We also got excellent scores of 12,339 for Procyon Video Editing Benchmark and a score of 244 for the AI Computer Vision Benchmark. For 3D Mark Steel Nomad and Speedway, we got excellent scores of 6,719 and 7,530 respectively. And finally for Port Royal and Tamspy, we got very good scores of 18,609 and 25,868 respectively. The X870E Tai Chi Lite is yet another excellent motherboard from ASRock that offers the same enthusiast features and performance of the original X870E Tai Chi. By fine tuning its cooling and removing the onboard RGB lighting, you now have a more affordable enthusiast motherboard to consider. You can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it, that was a quick look at the ASRock X870E Tai Chi Lite motherboard. Don't let the name confuse you, it's not a cut down version of the original X870E Tai Chi. In fact, you get the same enthusiast features and the performance to match, all for an affordable price. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like and uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description and of course visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.